What's the best budget backpacking tent? Coming up. What's up guys, my name is Thor. Here on this channel we talk about all things backpacking. If you have any interest in that, please consider subscribing to the channel. I release videos every single week and I'd hate for you to miss a single one. Today's video is about one of the best budget backpacking tents on the market. The tent we're talking about today is the Sierra Designs Clip Flashlight 2. This tent has been around for decades. It is a really great design. Let's get it set up, go over some of the features, specs, and things that I like, and things that I wish that I could change about this tent. Let's get to it. guys so we've got it set up now as you can see it's a really slick setup it requires two poles the minimum amount of stakes to get this out is six because as you saw on the back there's two clips to hold the fly on there's all kinds of guy out points everywhere to make this a really storm worthy tent if necessary but let's talk about some of the specs of this tent the floor of this is a 70d nylon material and the fly is a 15d so honestly if you couldn't afford it or you couldn't swing it, if you didn't go with a ground tarp or a ground sheet, I think you would be okay. But my recommendation would be to just use a piece of Tyvek or Polycro to increase the longevity and the durability of your tent. It is a semi freestanding design. So yes, it does have poles, but it has no way of standing on its own. So you have to stake it out. And like I said, it only takes six stakes to get it completely staked out. And you have the ability to add more stakes. So this tent is really built to last, and that's one of the main things I like about this tent. Not only is it lightweight, but it's going to be super durable. Let's talk about the floor area. It's 89 inches long, which is super long. I'm six foot one, and I've got more than enough room in here, and it's a double wall tent, so you're not gonna be as concerned about condensation. The width of this tent goes from 52 at the head end to 45 inches at the foot end, which is not a huge significant taper, but it's enough that you can't fit two wide pads in, which is one of the things that I don't love about it. But honestly, if you're just using it for a solo shelter or you use a regular width size pad, then you're gonna be fine. All right guys, so let's talk about square footage. The inside of the tent is 30 square feet and you have an additional vestibule out here with 8.8, .8, so about nine square feet of storage space. The vestibule is actually really good size. You could fit two packs easily. And one of the other things that's really awesome about this tent is the peak height. Peak height on this tent is 42 inches, which is really great. Being six foot one, having a longer torso, I can sit up no problem and not hit my head on the mesh. But again, it's double wall, so I'm not super concerned about condensation, but just to think about, you've got plenty of room to stand, stand up, stand up. you got plenty of room to sit up and do everything that you need. So let's talk a little bit about some of the cool features unique to this tent that I really like. First off has gotta be the really cool awning that it comes with. What it allows you to do is unzip the awning and tie out the corners with either sticks, trees, or if you bring trekking poles like me, you can guy out those corners and you have a really nice space it protects you from the sun or if you're just looking to ventilate and i think it would protect you from mild amounts of rain if it was just a light rain you could leave it up um, sometimes what i do is i'll put the awning out on any tent and i'll zip it down partially so then i've got a little bit more coverage so if it's raining i'm usually okay under this awning Another feature that I like is that it's double walled. What this means is number one, you're not gonna have to worry about condensation. Number two, on starry clear nights, you can take the top off and you can enjoy the beautiful views. One of the other cool features I like about this tent is this little light pocket here. So if you have a headlamp, a flashlight, whatever kind of light you have, you can open up the bottom of this, stick it in here, pinch this down, and now you have something that diffuses the light. So you don't have that really harsh light that you get that beam from your light. It diffuses it and makes a nice ambient light on the inside of your tent so that you can get dressed, changed, read a book, whatever you're doing on the inside of your tent. We've got a cool little feature to help diffuse some light. 
All right, so now that we've checked out a bunch of the cool features and why I think that this is an awesome tent, let's talk about weight. This tent weighs three pounds, six ounces, which for the price point, for all the features, for the durability is killer. Retail, not on sale, no coupons or anything. This tent is $199 US, which is incredible. For a tent that's three pounds, six ounces, has features like the awning, extra pockets, the light diffuser, a really livable tent with lots of space with a high peak height, $199 is a really incredible price. And honestly guys, my honest opinion is this tent is for anybody. This tent is light enough that even if you're a weight conscious backpacker, this is gonna be something that you can wrap your head around. For $199 at about three pounds, six ounces, it's really awesome. As you start getting lighter, you're gonna get more expensive. So if you're beginning, if you're looking to cut some base weight from an older backpacking tent or a different design, take a look at the Sierra Designs Clip Flashlight 2. All right guys, well that was today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is really an awesome tent. If you found value, please smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel because my channel is extremely current and I'm releasing new content every single week. Be sure to check me over out on Instagram. I'm trying to roll more stuff out on that, so be sure to check that out. I'll put everything in the description below. And backpackers, thanks for stopping by.